Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmer Key and welcome to my very first Let's Play Family Values. Now we're going to get right into it here and I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to my main character, Sarah Smith. And Sarah is right now my only character in the game. However, the point of this Let's Play is to sort of build her a family and, you know, just create the family and see how things go. So first off, she is um, <laughs> admiring a new object in the house. I don't know why she's crying, but it's probably because she's lonely. Poor Sarah's all alone in this beautiful house that I built for her. And we have a nursery, however, there is no baby yet. So we need to get Sarah married and get her a husband so that she can start building her family. Cause you know, that's all she really wants is, is to have a beautiful family. So right now she is on the computer, uh, not really sure what she's doing. I just kind of let her do her own thing there. But um, let's go over her traits real quick. Now Sarah loves the outdoors. She is handy, neat, and she is also a schmoozer. Mm -hmm. And Sarah is an angler, which means she is very good at fishing. Um, And let's see, Sarah's lifetime wish is... Well, actually, let's go. Let's look at her relationships first. Um, so far, all she knows is Ileana, which is her best friend slash boss, and Jesse, which was um the mascot from University Life that came to greet her. I don't even remember talking to him, but yeah, he's he's in there in the relationships. And Sarah is currently a filing clerk. Um, she just started off her career, and her skills. Um, she is at level three in logic and level one in what was that? The smartphone. Um, there's no opportunities or anything. There's a little bit of lifetime happiness because I did just play her very briefly to get acquainted with the house and such. Um, but right now she is going into the nursery and sitting at the rocking chair. You can tell how much she really wants a baby and really wants to start building a family. I feel a little bit bad for her right now, but you know, we're going to get into it as quickly as possible so that she doesn't have to live here all by herself. But speaking of her boss slash best friend, Ileana, she actually just stopped by for a visit. So let's go ahead and greet her, invite her inside and see how she's doing. Um, I'm not really sure how they became best friends already. I, I don't think I built that relationship at all. Like I only played for a few minutes where I um, pretty much like had her cook and clean and just do a couple days at home, look for a job and such that was all off camera. So I can't remember when she actually became best friends with Ileana. But that works out good for her because if your boss is your best friend and you're a schmoozer, I mean, come on, I can see the promotions and the raises just ringing in for Sarah, which would be great because if she wants to start a family, she's going to need some money. Um, now, she does have quite a bit of funds down there. I think that was because I wanted to buy or build her a house, so I, I did a cheat there so she could get enough money to do that. Um, but I will eventually change that. Uh, right now, I want her to get acquainted with Ileana and ask her about her day. We want to make sure to stay good friends with the boss, stay on her good side. And, you know, we could really use a friend because um, we, don't, we don't really have any. So <laughs> she's it for right now. Um, just chatting and, you know, I'm telling her about my day and how lonely I am and what a big house this is. And, you know, maybe maybe you want to stay and hang out with me. I know she <laughs> she seems a little a little desperate here, but uh, yeah. She is going to go ahead and discuss work, um, trying to get on her good side again, you know. So, how was the day of the office? Yeah, good. Me too. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they actually have had time to, like, hang out yet. So, maybe in another episode, we'll actually have them go out, like, on a dinner date after work. Not a date, but you know what I mean, like a, a little dinner meeting. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, after work, just to talk about work and, you know, wind down a bit as well. And so right now, Sarah is getting to know Ileana, and she found out that she is a workaholic, which makes sense because she is the department head. She is her boss, so you have to be pretty into your work to be able to run an entire department by yourself. So, yeah, um, that is a, a good trait to have. Um, what else are they talking about? I guess Ileana's probably just going on and on about work, but Sarah's like, you know what? I just, I want to have fun right now. Let's talk about fun. Let's talk about movies. What's your favorite movie? 
<laughs> so they gained a little bit more friendship points here. Um, real quick, that is my goldfish over here, Judy. And I named her Judy um, because when I was like, just like I said, I was going through and getting acquainted with the home and such. I was actually watching the Disney movie Zootopia. And um, the main character is a bunny and her name is Cop, Cop Judy, um, Officer Judy. The bunny cop officer Judy. I think that's right. I think that's where I got the name from. But yeah, I just typed in the first name that popped into my head, and it was it was Judy because I was watching her on Zootopia. Um, so right now Sarah is going to prepare a quick meal. Well, not a quick meal. I guess a full meal, so that Ileana can stay over for a little bit and have dinner. Um, uh, Sarah's very hungry, so that was just good timing that her friend happened to come over so that they can have a nice dinner together. And her cooking skills really aren't up high yet, so I'm hoping she doesn't, like, burn anything or set anything on fire. Uh, hopefully she sticks the hot dogs in the microwave so that doesn't happen. But here I'm just zooming in so you can see, like, a little shot of the eat-in kitchen area. And um, while Sarah is, you know, cooking the meal over there, I am going to check in on Ileana and see what she is doing. Um, I don't seem to see her right away. I'm not sure exactly where she wandered off to. I did build this home in a speed build, I think it was. So I will link that in the description below as well. So you can see exactly how this home was built and you can download it if you want it for your game as well. Um, so yeah, this is like the nice custom entertainment area that I built with the two bookshelves on the side and sorry, I don't mean to click on that. I'm trying to turn the lights on. It got a little bit dark in here. Um, so I'm going to turn them off and then turn them all on. There we go. Much, much better. But yeah, this is the entertainment area um, and the book area. So, you know, Ileana and Sarah can relax and watch some TV after they're done eating. Oh, there she is. She's over there at the computer desk. Um, but I'll, I'll give you a quick house tour too while we're waiting for the meal to be prepared. This is the nursery. As I said, you know, Sarah really wants the baby. So she did buy this house or build this house with that in mind. Um, and since we don't know if she's going to have a boy or a girl yet, the room is very gender neutral. And this is Sarah's bedroom here. She does have a nice, beautiful double bed um, with that picture of Audrey Hepburn right there behind her. Uh, it's, a, it's a fun room. I like the colors in here. It's nice and bright, but not like overbearing. I think everything just sort of looks looks good together. So yeah, that was the house. And now I'm going to go talk to Ileana and praise her. Of course, I'm a schmoozer. <laughs> and you know, I want to make sure I keep getting those promotions. So we're going to go say hi and praise her and tell her how awesome she is and what a great boss she is and what a great friend she is and how we would appreciate a raise. Uh-huh. Got to make that money. Got to take care of that baby. <laughs> So yeah, we're just chatting now. Um, looks like we are talking about our favorite books and now football. Mm -hmm. Sarah is a bit of a um, tomboy, I would say. I mean, she's definitely not a girly girl, even though her room suggests otherwise. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Sarah likes to fish and, and play sports and do all that stuff. But we're going to go ahead and call Ileana over to a meal so that she could eat in case she's hungry. We don't want to be rude and eat in front of our guests. So we'll make sure that uh, she grabs a plate as well. It looks like Sarah ate already. So let's go ahead and use the toilet and take a quick shower before it gets too late. Um, it is a Tuesday night, so she does have to work in the morning. So we just want to make sure that, you know, most of her needs are met before she goes to bed. So while she is showering, let's take a peek at Ileana and see what she's up to. Just chomping away on that hot dog. <laughs> I hope she enjoys that meal. We'll butter her up with some food. Yeah, get the boss with some food. <laughs> so let's take another peek at Sarah here and see, see what she's doing. She's in the shower now and, you know, scrub-a-dub-dub, getting nice and clean so that she can go to bed and start her day tomorrow with a, a nice breakfast before she goes to work and not have to worry about taking another shower. And, I mean, I, I don't know. I normally don't take showers at night. I usually take them in the morning, but whatever. We'll, uh, we don't have a whole lot of time in the morning, so we'll have Sarah do that now. And after she's done showering, let's have her put away those leftovers 
And where is Ileana going? It looks like she's checking out the nursery. You know, we, we told her how much Sarah wants a baby. So maybe she's just coming in here to check out the room that we have prepared for the new little boy or girl we will have. Um, I know that's jumping ahead quite a bit. We haven't even uh, met any guys over or <laughs> we haven't met any guys or like on a date or anything like that. But, you know, she's still ready. She's still ready for for that baby. So, um, yeah, I guess let's ask Ileana if she wants to stay the night. I don't know. We could have like a girl sleepover, although it is getting late and uh, Sarah should probably go to bed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what they can really get into with her energy being so low, and it is already 11 p.m., so yeah, it's pretty late, so let's let's schmooze her up a bit and just chat a little. Um, I'm not sure if she's actually going to stay over. Probably not. That would be kind of weird. I don't even know where she would sleep. I don't know why, why I clicked on that, but <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to bed. Um, Ileana could sit there and rock for a little bit. That is totally fine. And there we go. Switching into the PJs. She is nice and comfortable now. And there are those Z's off to bed. Got to get a good night's sleep. So tomorrow we can go to work and hopefully meet a man at some point. Um, actually, I think it'll be better if I just create a man and put him into the town and we can have them, you know, meet and, and court each other as normal. But I don't really want to use an in-player, an in-game player, like someone who's already built. So I will go ahead and get into the next part um, where I will go ahead and create Sarah a potential mate. So, okay, yeah, Ileana did leave. Good. <laughs> I didn't want her to stay the night, really. We'll see her at work tomorrow anyway. But, yeah, I, I will. It will be in this video, so just stay tuned. I'll go ahead and flip right over. Here we go. So let's go ahead and create him. Now this sim was just randomly generated and I kind of I kind of like his look already. So I don't think I'm going to change up too much. He looks like a nice enough guy. The outfit looks pretty nice. Um, but let's just randomly generate him a name. Um, Caleb Colburn. What else do we got? Uh, Joseph Walker. Joven Howell. Joven. How I kind of like this. Um, is it Joven or Javon? I don't know. We'll, we'll call him Joven for now and see, and see how that works out. Um, How is a pretty good last name, so we'll leave that too. And let's see, not gonna change up his body modifiers too too much. We'll just uh, you know, maybe increase the muscle definition a bit and the muscle size a bit, and add a little bit of body weight. Nothing too crazy. I think he looks good as he is. So now checking out um, the different hair and facial hair. I don't know. I don't usually like to leave Sims exactly as they are because I know that the game randomly generates the same Sims sometimes. But I don't know. I'm, I'm going to change his mouth. His mouth looks a little bit funny. So I think this one's a little bit better. We can give him freckles. But yeah, let's let's not do that not do that. Um, obviously no makeup. <laughs> I don't know. His nose looks pretty good too. Like, honestly, he looks great. I can't really think of much to change. I know I'm not very creative when it comes to making a sim. Uh, so I'm just going to widen the nose a bit. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> uh, head and ears. I don't know. He's so attractive. I don't want to change anything, but let's change the eyebrows. They do look a little bit thin. Um, yeah, those look better. They're a little bit thicker and he looks a little bit more alert. And I don't know, the hair color is good. It's sort of like a reddish brown. I usually like have blonde sims or brown haired sims or even black hair. Um, I don't use like this, this sort of reddish brown very often. So I think I'll leave that as is. And I mean, the haircut looks pretty good. Um, hmm. Let's just experiment a little bit and see what other types of hair are available. Um, no, 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 no. That is too long in the back for him. Uh, that makes him look like a teeny bopper. That makes him look like a vampire. That makes him look like, uh, dead. Nope, nope, none of these, none of these. Nope, nope, nope. 
let's go back to that original hair. Um, I think that's going to be our best bet. I don't know. It's just, it suits him. He was, he was generated very nicely. I mean, sometimes these Sims look a little bit crazy, but he, he looks good. So let's just play around with his clothes. Um, we'll go into formal wear first and see what the game automatically generated and see if we could switch it up a bit. I mean, that's really not bad either. Uh, wow, I'm having good luck. So, sometimes I have to go through quite a bit of bad ones to find what I like, but um, I don't know. Let's change it up a tiny bit. Let's see what else is available. Uh, no, no, no. Mm, that one's not bad, but it looks more like outerwear than formal wear. That definitely not. <laughs> that doesn't look like it suits his personality whatsoever. This one's not bad either, but I feel like I've used it quite a bit. Um, so let's just go back, back, back to the original one and see if we could tweak this a bit. Um, let's find some different shoes because I think those are the same shoes he had in his everyday outfit. So let's find something just a little bit more dressy. Um, these would be good, but let's make them match the tie. And I think the sole should be black instead of that light brown. So let's uh, change the pants a little bit too. Um, let's just darken them up. And I think, I think that'll work. Uh, let's check out what his sleepwear is and see if we need to change anything. That's really not that bad either. Um, hmm. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see what other options there are real quick though. I don't know. This looks a little bit more like activewear or swimwear. Those are way too small. Uh, no. Hmm. This one's not bad. We'll stick with this one for now. And let's see what we've got going on for athletic wear. Is it going to change? Nope, it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> the same thing as the sleepwear with some different shoes. So um, let's change this up a bit. I, I want something completely different. I don't know, that looks pretty good. The colors match well with his hair. And the shorts look pretty nice, but maybe we could do some pants instead. Um, no, maybe we'll stick with shorts. I don't know. Let's see what else there is. Oh, those look more like running pants, probably a little bit too tight. Uh, those look almost like, I don't know, pajama pants. Uh, these shorts are good. Yeah, they're good. Let's make them dark blue though. Um, just to match the shirt a little bit more. And I think we should definitely change those shoes. There's nothing wrong with them, but let's get something that looks a little bit more like, I don't know, like tennis shoes. I can't tell exactly what those are. Loafer? No, I don't know what those are, but mm, we don't want hiking boots. So let's keep going and see if we can find some better shoes. Uh, maybe we'll just go with Converse because, yeah, I mean, can't go wrong with Converse, right? Oh, but these look good. Actually, I think those are great. The color matches better. We'll stick with those shoes. Uh, so let's see what's going on in swimwear. Um, those trunks aren't too bad. We'll leave those. And finally, let's check out the outerwear. And mm, hmm. the jacket's not too bad. I don't like the hole in the pants. It makes him look like he can't afford real pants. Um, <laughs> ooh, those are way too tight. And yeah, the shoes are a little bit out there too. We'll change those. But mm, those pants look good. Yeah, good enough. I don't want to spend too too long creating him but yeah let's let's get some better shoes um maybe some boots um hmm i don't know i think those are good but let's darken up the jacket a bit i do like it but i don't really like this camel color um let's see if we can make it more like a deeper brown like more of like a chocolate uh it's a little too on the yellow side Let's see if we can make it just a bit more deep brown. Yep, that's good. All right, so let's move on to the personality. Um, let's just randomly generate it and see what comes up. We have Born Salesman, Charismatic, Grumpy, A Heavy Sleeper, and Rebellious. Um, I don't want him to be grumpy, so let's definitely get rid of that one. Um, let's see what else we can give him that's better than Grumpy, because oh. <laughs> we want to we wanna woo him. We don't want to... We don't want a grumpy, a grumpy man. <laughs> um, I guess we can make him irresistible. I hope this doesn't backfire, but 
yeah, we'll make him irresistible. And I don't know, he doesn't need to be a heavy sleeper. I think we could do something a little bit better than that. Um, I would like to maybe find like a, a family oriented. There it is, family oriented. Um, that way, you know, he might be more inclined to get married and have children. And is that good? Yeah, that's good. All right, now what type of lifetime wish? Um, a star news anchor? That that could work. I mean, if he's like a born salesman, he can just like sell his personality and be charismatic and irresistible. And that, that should translate well to to being on the news, right? Um, and then food will leave. Color will change to blue. And I don't have the game sounds on, so we'll leave the voice as is. And yeah, Taurus is good too. So yeah, that, that'll do. We've got Joven Howell. Um, I think he is good to go. Let's go ahead and place him in the town so that we can have Sarah meet him sometime uh, tomorrow or, well, the next video, <laughs> which will be tomorrow in the game. Uh, we need to put him somewhere that he can afford because since he is a new character, he only has those limited funds. I think one of these houses is right. Yep one of these. So I'll go ahead and place him in here and I'll see you in the next video. I'm so, so excited to start this Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoy it. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss part two of Let's Play Family Values and see if we can get Joven and Sarah hooked up, start that family and make a baby. <laughs> yeah, it'll be great. See you guys next time. Bye.